Hi, I'm James from Hermes, and today we're going to go over some simple saddle fitting tips. Our model today is Motto, one of Anne Krasinski's horses. Um, first things that we usually look at when we come to do a saddle fitting, how the horse's back feels. Motto is in a pretty good program. His back is usually feeling quite firm, quite muscular, quite good. Um, first saddle we're going to put on is the saddle that Motto actually rides and competes in. So when we put on a saddle, simple things we look for. We don't want a saddle that moves a lot. If we push on the front, push on the back. Um, other things, wither clearance. Roughly two and a half to three fingers. You want to make sure there's nice, even contact through the shoulder and then underneath the panels, front to back, even consistent pressure. If sometimes you'll feel spots where there's more weight against your hand or there's bridging and the saddle's not making contact at all. This is the second saddle that I'm going to put on Motto's back. This one doesn't fit quite as well, and I'll show you things that, to me, tell me it's not fitting it as well. When I put it on his back, I'm getting a little bit less clearance um, at his weather, which tells me the tree might be too wide. It's sitting too low in front. Other things, it rocks quite a bit. When I put pressure on the front, pressure on the back, the saddle has a tendency to, to rock. When I run my hand down the top of the front side of the panels, I get pressure along the top of the shoulder and then no contact below. Same thing when I run my hand front to back under, pretty much right about here, I'm getting much more pressure on my hand. And then when I get to the back, we can actually see the panels not making contact at all before we get to the back of the seat. Now I'm gonna show you how Padding will alter the fit of the saddle. So Motto typically competes in a square pad and a thin line which doesn't add too much bulk. And when we put the saddle on, obviously pulling everything up into the gullet gives it the opportunity to, again, keep the freedom of the wither so the saddle pads aren't pulling down and restricting. And again, once you get the pads on, looking for the same simple thing. You want wither clearance still, make sure the saddle's still level. Uh, typically, when a saddle is level, the pommel and the cantle are about even. Most saddles, not all, the billets will be straight. These billets are quite straight. And then running your hands down, again, underneath all the padding because the padding is going to either sometimes lift or cause more pressure in spots. Bring my hand through. I'm still getting the same pressure front to back, which is good. So this saddle combination with the square pad and the thin line pad works well for Motto. Again, offers him the freedom of his back to his shoulders. Handles still fit well. And I'm gonna take this saddle off and put the first saddle on, the, the second saddle on that was rocking. So now we're back to the second saddle that was rocking without saddle pads. Again, pulling everything up into the gullet in front to make, make sure that we're not restricting the horse's wither and shoulder. When I put this on, it looks a little more level here. The billets are a little bit better. I'm running my hand down. I'm still getting a little bit of tension here and getting similar here. But then the back half of the saddle feels a little bit better. And it's not moving near as much with the padding. So the, the padding does alter fit. So it's a good thing to think about. Um, a lot of people now are spending a lot of money on custom fit saddles. When we start adding in gel pads and shock absorbing pads and extra thick square pads, it, it's altering the fit of what you're getting. So make sure your saddle fitter knows that when you're placing your order. A third option, again, we're with the saddle that didn't have quite as well, quite as good of a fit. Um, again, going through the whole list of things to check. We have pulled the pads up into the gullet, we have enough wither clearance here, running my hand down. I'm still tight here. 
and then front to back. The saddle is now actually making no contact here to here, a little bit here, and even with the hat pad, you can see that there's the, the, the saddle's almost floating on the horse's back. So it can show you the drastic difference you can get with different saddle pad options.